Hard to believe, but it's that time again. How's it going, guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and the 14-day challenge with the Samsung Galaxy Nexus is over. I used this device for 14 days, and it came to a conclusion. You know, there are a lot of things I really like about this device. First of all, I really enjoy the form factor. I like the way it looks. It feels great in the hand. That 4.65-inch uh, HD display is perfect for me in terms of size. I think 4.65 to 4.7 for me is... Uh, my balance in terms of a display size. And then I love the way it looks as well. It fits well in the hand, it's got a nice curved feel to it so when you have it up to your ear for phone calls, it's great in that regard. The downsides to this device over the 14 days that I've noticed, network connectivity appears to be an issue and continues to be an issue even with the replacement unit that I got about halfway through the challenge. I'm still noticing that other Verizon devices, um, other, you know, for example, the, uh, the Motorola Droid Razor Max, the HTC Resound, a couple of others I've tested and still have in the office as review units, have pulled in a better signal than the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. And that's, you know, odd and it's very uncommon for Samsung because a lot of the Samsung devices on the market I've had no problems with. The Galaxy Note on AT&T, the Galaxy S2 on T-Mobile, the Galaxy S2 on AT&T, and the Galaxy S2 Skyrocket on AT&T. Had a great time with all of those. Used all of those and actually uh, worked with the Samsung Galaxy Note for the 30-day challenge and had the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket as a personal device for some time. Never had any connectivity issues with those, so it's a very uncommon thing, but I did have some problems with the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Also, the stock battery, I never did upgrade to the extended battery, but what I will say about the stock battery, 1,850 milliamp hours just is not enough in this 4G device. I was charging it when I had it connected to 4G with moderate to heavy use. I was charging two and three times a day. With it on 3G, I was still charging at the midway point, kind of three, four o'clock in the afternoon on most days. So still, you know, and for people that are in the office all the time, that's fine. Usually I'm in the office or somewhere near an outlet where I can kind of charge or a car charger and I can do that. There are a lot of times, for example, I was I took a trip to a day trip to Raleigh for work and was having issues with connectivity and battery life issues. The phone was dying. I was trying to plug it into the car. I kept going back and forth between meetings and car and it just became an issue. So, you know, battery life's a concern to you. If voice calls are important to you, you're on a lot of conference calls like I am, something of that nature, this may not be the best device for you. Where this does excel, a great HD display when turned to full brightness. I did notice a little bit of pixelation at medium brightness, but at full brightness, very decent there, it's great for media, and of course stock ice cream sandwich makes this device really desirable for a lot of the Android people out there. You know, you want that stock experience, the Galaxy Nexus is still the only device that you can buy brand new that has that experience. So that's something to keep in mind, the 30 or the 14 day challenge is over rather. I'm starting a new 30 day challenge tonight, so stay tuned for that. Unfortunately, this is not gonna be my, my device going forward in terms of voice calls, in terms of battery life. Those things are just too important to me to uh, give those up, despite the fact that I love the design of this phone, I love the way it fits in the hand, and it's got a nice display. Unfortunately, not the phone for me. Stay tuned for the next 30-day challenge, and keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage. If you like this phone, rate it at PhoneDog.com slash rankings. Be sure to cast your vote, let your voice be heard, and then leave a review and tell me why you love this device or why you hate it at PhoneDog.com slash rankings. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash PhoneDog, and on Twitter at PhoneDog underscore Aaron, and on my personal page at facebook.com slash phonedogab. Stay tuned for more 30-day challenges on phonedog.com.